Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Non-League to Premier League. I hope this finds you well. A very happy new year to you all. Well then, we've got a very impressive record that we can be very happy with. So far in 2021, we are unbeaten, boys and girls. Hey! Right, enough of the cheers aside. You were last with us for the absolute decimation of Solio Moors by Newcastle United. We then followed that up with a 4-1 win over Stevenage. We lost on penalties in the Papa John's Trophy in the quarterfinals to Chelsea under-23s. They were much better side in all fairness. It probably shouldn't have gone past 90 minutes. We then put a halt to our little slide in form. We beat Scunthorpe 3-0. We drew 1-1 away with Morecambe. Should have won that game, but it is what it is. We then beat Port Vale 2-1, we smashed Cheltenham 5-1 and we beat Wigan 3-1. So we're on a run of really good form at the moment. And as you can see, if you've noticed up in the top of the table there, that puts us top of League 2. Now, Swindon do have a game in hand on us and if they win their game in hand, they will only be 4 points behind. But we're 10 points ahead of 3rd and 4th with a game in hand. So... We're in we're in a real good right vein of form again now. Hopefully, that means we're going to go up. Coming to the business end of the season, there's not too many games left. So, we'll get straight into the game against Forest Green today. And so here we are then against Forest Green Rovers. We are away from home and we've fully switched up our 11 because our next game is only in three days time. And quite frankly, the first team at the moment after a very busy December need a rest. So we have Booting Goal, Cranston, John, Tizard and Cox at the back. Solanke and Burnett in midfield. Wilson, Ball and Donawa backing up Charlie Ball up front. Hopefully we can get a very good result here today and carry on with our good form. Obviously changing the complete 11, bit of a risky move, but I'd rather have the team, the first team ready and raring to go for the next game. If we lose this game, hate to say it, but it's not really the end of the world. We will say we're pumping our fists, we've been on a good run lately, I expect you to go and do exactly the same thing again. So here we are then. And we start off with a highlight. Rowe plays it back to Semple. Back to Rowe. All the way back to the keeper, Cornell. It's intercepted by Solanke. John bangs it forward. It's no good. Vaughan collects it. And at the moment, lots and lots of long balls just being pinged by both teams. Ball over the top. Donova's not going to get there. That was a little bit ambitious. And the highlight continues. Right then, brings the ball forward. He's not really being put under any pressure. Tizard does get the ball there. Charlie Ball receives it. And went for an audacious attempt from about 35 yards out. And it's well wide. Interesting start to the game. Noticeably at the moment, Forest Green are having the lion's share of the possession. Throwing on this right hand side. Koval to Carvalho then. Carvalho inside to Bourne. And Bourne just wide. Oh, Warning signs for the Moors here. Did you all have a good New Year, guys? I know it was a bit of a strange one. I know that we couldn't go out. We couldn't have mass gatherings with our family and such, you know, to get a little drink on as we normally would. But did you get to make the most of it? I had a really good night, in fairness. It was very, very chilled out. Watched a couple of films. Um, ending with Bohemian Rhapsody. Absolutely loved that film. Really good. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend it. So, I hope you did have a good time as Carville then is here and Ryan Boot makes a fantastic save. Cameron Cox clears. Oh, we are not playing well. We are going to demand more out of the team. Oh, Stephen's head is just over the bar. And the warning signs are here at the moment. Forest Green very much in the ascendancy. Not a great start. Cranston then on his left-hand side. He's got Wilson in support. 
decides that he's going to go it alone. Very, very poor there from Cranston. You'd expect better from one of our most senior players now. John then, the youngster, is only on his third appearance for us, since obviously we've had to sell uh, Shehab. Did we cover Shehab's sale? I don't know if we did. Charlie Ball then is in one-on-one. -on -one. Defender gets back brilliantly, has to be said, to block the shot. And a corner is coming in for the Moors. Swindon are losing as well, which is massive for us. If we can take the lead in this game now, that will put us really well in good stead because we'll be clear at the top of the pile by quite a bit. Not to be, though. Cranston collects the ball. Can he recycle it? It doesn't look like this is going anywhere, honestly. John hits it forward. Wilson is there. Wilson across the box to Justin Donawa. And just as I said, he looked like it was going nowhere, folks. Out of nowhere comes a goal. Justin Donawa, lovely ball across the floor there from uh, Adam Wilson, I believe it was. It was Adam Wilson who brought the cross in. Lovely, lovely ball in. And Donawa's there just to slot it home. Nice, easy goal. 1-0 to the Moors. Come on, boys. We're, we're looking good. It's scary at how good we look at times because I still think League One is going to be a, not necessarily a struggle, but it's going to be tough. And we haven't necessarily got the finances at the moment to go out and buy players in the positions that we'll need. On top of that, a lot of teams are sniffing around our young talent. Uh, we lost Shiab to Stoke. I don't know whether I covered that transfer with you guys. I'll go through it after the game just in case we didn't. But he wanted first team football. It's for a championship side. Or oh, Boot gets down lovely there for the save. And we couldn't really say no. It wasn't worth having a moody player in the dressing room and upsetting the, the atmosphere that we've got at the moment because that would only destroy team morale. And that means that we'd probably end up going on a really bad run. But... We have lost our best central defender. And he was only young. So we're going to say we're happy with the performance. We've not really been the better side here. It has to be said that Forest Green are probably going to be a little bit aggrieved to go in behind at half time. But we've lost games in a similar fashion this year. So we're not going to complain too much. Free kick then from quite far out. James Ball stands over it. And James Ball. Oh, oh Cornell. Only just got his hands onto it and that was nearly a stunning strike. As things stand then, 10 points clear. Again, Swindon do still have a game in hand on us. But we've also got to play Swindon later this year. And poor James Ball, bless him, is absolutely shattered. So we'll have to change him. So we bring Dion McGee on, I believe. Shall we bring McGee on? Yeah, we bring McGee on. He's not fully fit himself. Actually, no, we won't do that. That's that's not going to be a good substitution. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got an idea, guys. We're going to do something that we don't normally do here. We're going to drop into the more defensive tactic. We're going to bring Solanke back here. Then we're going to bring Reese Cole in just here. And hope that that can shore up the midfield a bit. Burnett does play better as the deep line playmaker. I'm not really sure if he's the playmaker that we need. Um, he's actually been very disappointing since he come in as Burnett. I was expecting a little bit more out of him. And when he's got game time, he just hasn't performed in any way, shape or form. So hopefully that changes in the in the near future. But we are going to bring on Reese Cole. We're going to drop back to the 4-3-3 three, three with a little bit more defensively minded because Forest Green have been the better side so we're just trying to shore up shop here and hopefully can grind out a win 80 minutes nearly on the clock then well 75 really as the throw in's taken March can't get the ball in Burnett's not quick enough though Koval's at the back post oh, oh, oh. it was this close folks it was this close honestly we, uh, we're we pushing our luck a little bit here Denton then with the long throw, fine Sweeney in acres of spikes, banks to Owens and Owens, oh my goodness, what a strike that is. 1-1. One, one. Oh. And do we stick with the 4-3-3 three, three system here as Swindon equalise as well, so that's going to lower that gap to just three points and they have a game in hand. Oh. Decisions, decisions. I think we're going to stick with it just for the moment, but what we are going to do is we're going to shout just a little bit of encouragement to the boys. A draw away from home is not the worst result in the world, in fairness. And that's it then. It does finish 1-1.
Clock ticked down nicely. Very, very even game. I would say that the better team in the first half, though, was without a doubt Forest Green, and they'll probably be probably be thinking that they should have walked away from that game with all three points. So, it does still leave us top of the league with a game in hand. We are currently eight points clear. I didn't think it was that big a gap. Um, but again, Swindon have got that game in hand, but that will only bring it down to five points clear if they win. We've got to play Swindon as well, so that's something to look forward to. We'll be back very shortly with the next game. And so here we are then, at home at the Bank Stadium, playing Bolton Wanderers. Worth noting that Darren Fletcher has just taken over here, so they may well come to play a really good game. Obviously, new manager always seems to give teams that bit of a buzz, doesn't it? That little bit of a confidence boost. Also worth noting here, there is no game for Swindon today. So if we win today, we really put pressure on them. Without further ado, let's get into the game. We've got our usual 11 that you are so used to seeing this season. However, a couple of changes for the first team. Felipe is now our first choice goalkeeper over Ryan Boots. Comes a little bit earlier than I wanted. Obviously, he's only 16, just about to turn 17. But in January... Lots and lots and lots of teams coming in for him. And the only way that we could keep hold of him, and we're talking championship teams and lower level Premier League teams here at the moment, only way we could keep hold of him was to actually promise him more football. It's exactly what we're doing. He's got a very, very highly rated future ahead of him. Hopefully that can be with us. So we've got Felipe in the back. Well, in the goal. He's not really quite at the back, is he? But you know what I mean. Cover, Tricker, Piggott and Hughes in defence. Osborne and Cole in midfield. McGee and Cox on the wings. And Sparrow just behind Will Russ. Now what we are going to have to do is change McGee from an inside forward to a winger. Because that is his natural role there. And let's go then guys. Let's see if we can beat Ferguson's Bolton here. Yes we want to go straight in. Yes we understand that we changed 11 players from the last game. Is what we said we was going to do. And we need a really solid performance from the boys today. So what we're going to say then is we lost to Bolton last time we played. Go out there and get revenge. See if the boys take that into their own hands. We're going to then move up to second. Obviously ahead in their game now on 69 points. 10 minutes in here. We've had a lot of chances on goal and a dominating possession. But nothing on target or highlight worthy as of yet. Jordan Piggott then goes out wide to Jordan Cox. Back inside to Reese Cole. Cole's got lots of options. Finds Eston Hughes. Hughes on the outside for Cox. A really nice ball. Ball across the front for Russ. And oh, the header just hits the A-frame of the goal. And we were centimetres away from taking a lead there. Pigger over the top. No good. Sarkovic then is the man who collects the ball. Plays it back to Comley. Comley back to Sarkovic. To Miles. Out on the left-hand side to Politic. Delfonso gets the ball. Oh, oh, balls for Miles. And that was a rocket of a shot. But it does go just wide. And then Jamie Osborne plays it to Cox. Headed. Oh, my word. It's not going to be allowed. I was just about to jump off my seat and I can't jump much, folks. You know what my body's like. But Cox heads it on beautifully here for Russ. And that is the tightest of margins. And what a finish that was. I know it doesn't count, but my word, that was phenomenal. Half an hour gone, folks. And there's just nothing going on, really. We've had a few opportunities, but nothing major, obviously, apart from the disallowed goal. Reese Cole there really needs, nearly played us into trouble. Beautiful header down from Will Russ, and Cox just can't quite finish as the keeper saves. He a, a header to come, a corner to come, hopefully with a header into the goal, but it's not to be. Cox then can get the ball in the game, plays it low to McGee, and McGee... <sighs> Again, a very, very good save by the keeper. McGee to take the corner this time. Again, cleared out to Sparrow. Sparrow to McGee. McGee on his left foot, hits the bar. And we are going to rue all these missed opportunities. I'm telling you that now. You've just got that feeling that it's not meant to be our day today, boys. What is going on? We've smashed them. 
How can we be so far ahead without actually being ahead? I'm not happy with how things are going so far. You better play better in the second half. Better play better. There's a lot of betters there, isn't there? Out then to McGee. Lovely chest down. Brings the ball forward. Inside to Will Russ. And it's just wide. Told you it's going to be one of them days. Everything is going to come through us. And they're going to just hit us on a counter sooner or later. And they're going to win 1-0. Dion McGee though says, no, Mr. France, that's not what's going to happen, boss. We're taking the lead. Two minutes into the second half. It's the Moors 1, Bolton 0. Hughes finds Sparrow. Well, tries to find Sparrow, but can't. Balls play back. Hughes again, then inside to McGee on the floor. McGee with a right-sided finish this time. Very versatile, McGee. He really has been one of our best signings. Can he do it at the next level though? Because it really does look now like that's where we're going to be playing next year. Miles with the free kick. Lovely strike, but it's wide. And Felipe doesn't even move. He's like, nah, that ain't going in. Weren't interested in the slightest. Senior with the long throw then. Finds us with, oh, and Alfonso in acres of space. And Ferguson, he'll be giving a lot of this in the dressing room after that game. Because that really was... A clear-cut chance. Sparrow then from wide finds Cox. Cox goes all the way back to Reese Cole. Out to Tristan Cover. Cover gets a lovely crossing. Will Russ heads it down and Cox in an offside position. But the partnership between Cox and Will Russ, they really do. Oh, my God. That's not offside. The lines are on top of each other. That's not offside. Still, <laughs> I digress. The relationship between those two is really good. It's nice to see. Obviously works very well in our favour as here Bolton again trying to get on the attack. I would have expected Willie Russ there to uh, to pick that ball up. But he doesn't. It's intercepted. Does go to Miles though. Falls to Delfonso and it's just pinging around. Bolton playing really well. Felipe gets two solid hands behind that shot. And I bet that stung. <laughs> I bet that stung a little poof. Ball comes in then and away it goes. Herford Lockett is... Collecting on this right hand side, McGee does get it, and that ends all highlights. Just apparently, nothing happened from there. They get McGee got the ball, and that was it. So, 80 minutes on the clock, we are still attacking. It's only 1 0, the slightest of leads, and the last highlights, in fairness, have all been in Bolton's favour. This is quite concerning. Herford Lockett then coming forward, fine senior. Cover does intercept. McGee's not going to get there first. Senior back to Edwards. Finds Sarkovic, Edwards again. Miles then on the ball. Can we get a foot in? We can't. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And Miles went for the sensational shot. And it wasn't far wide, in fairness. Players are all tired. I really should have made some substitutions at around about the 70th minute because they've been coming forward. Pressing our luck here. 90 minutes on the clock. And that. Oh, ho. Ooh, he was offside anyway, but that was another warning side. We're not going to make any changes now. We're sticking with it. It's only a minute to go. And that is the Moors 1, Bolton 0. We were superb in that first half. And we started the second half very, very strongly. But from about 65 minutes onwards, you've got to say Bolton were really giving it a shout there. We're going to say to the boys, well done. That was a very good win for us. Let's all look inspired and motivated, which is good. Keep the good times rolling. We are eight points clear with a game in hand over Wigan. Obviously, we are now two games to the good against Swindon. So how we finish up, I'm not entirely sure. If we come into the schedule then, I don't want to hop too far ahead in case we get promoted. I don't want you guys to miss that. But at the same time, I don't want to make... A video every <laughs> every other game because that's the situation that we're in. What we'll do is we'll only jump ahead to the Swindon and the Cambridge game because I've got a feeling that if we beat Swindon, we're definitely promoted. So we will be back then on Wednesday then. I hope you had a fantastic New Year. Thank you very much for all your support. I'll see you on Wednesday, guys.